My flight is tomorrow night, so I'm about to properly start packing. A bunch of random stuff that I need has kind of accumulated in my suitcase, but I need to like properly write down everything that I'm gonna bring and like try and put it in my suitcase, see how much space I have, see how much like room decor and stuff like that I'm able to still fit in because right now I really have no idea. And then tomorrow I can do finishing stuff like toiletries and whatever. Before I start, I'm gonna make a list so then as I go through it, I can check off everything that I've got. It should be productive. This is gonna take a minute, so let's get started. Alrighty, we're making a good amount of progress. Most of my clothes are in my suitcases now, and I still have so much st space left, which is good. The only big stuff that's left are all my shoes, and then other than that, it's basically like bags, toiletries, stuff like perfume, hairbrush, all that jazz. This is really weird, because it feels like I'm just packing for vacation, but like, <laughs> that's not what this is. Update, I am basically done. I managed to fit everything very easily, which I'm very happy about. I just need to basically put my toiletries from tomorrow inside. So that's like my face wash and stuff. My clothes are all nicely folded under here. And then under there, I've literally got like the most random stuff. Knife, cutting board, food, um, toilet paper, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good. I should be okay. And then I've also got this as a carry-on. So I can fit some extra stuff in here because I think I'm planning on bringing my own pillow. So that should be good. That didn't take as long as I thought it would, but either way, I'm dead and I want to be well rested for the flight tomorrow. So I'm going to get ready for bed now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last day here, which is really weird. It's like not hitting me at all. I feel like I'm going to have a mental breakdown at the airport. <laughs> I'm going to like hug my parents and like die. <sighs> so weird. Last waking up clip in this bed for a long time. I am gonna go downstairs and make myself some breakfast. <laughs> Yummy. I'm kind of sad because the weather is like super crummy today. I was hoping I would be able to enjoy the warmth before I dip, but it's just like raining nonstop. I just finished doing the last few logistical things. I had to write a quarantine plan, and then I also had to fill out this app for Canada for when I arrive at immigration to show that I'm ready to go straight into quarantine. I think I'm just gonna chill for a bit before we head off to my final lunch with my mom and my sister. Time for lunch. I changed and put on a bit of jewelry and stuff because I felt a bit crusty. So I feel a little bit more put together, like it's a normal day. I'm excited, I'm getting ramen. I got some green tea, my mama just got here. Very good, as per usual. There's a crying baby behind us, which is kind of annoying. I can be just Update, it's like one hour till I leave for the airport. I was just downstairs spending time with my family for the last like four-ish hours. Now I'm about to take a shower because I want to feel clean before like the long flight and everything. I'm going to wash my face, brush my teeth, all that jazz, and then pack my toiletries so I can close the suitcases. I should be ready before we have to leave, which is good because I don't want to be like scrambling to get my shit together like right when the cab is on the way. So yeah. Final piece. <sighs> okay, I changed. So this is what I'm wearing to the airport. I've just got a crew neck. A tank top underneath my leggings and then i'm wearing my snowshoes because these are the biggest ones so it made the most sense to wear these instead of packing them in my suitcase i'm just getting the last few things together i'm leaving my room kind of a mess not in the best state but it's okay oh i can't forget my hairbrush these are the two suitcases i'm bringing and then i've got this little bag is like a carry-on and then this is like the backpack that i'm bringing on the plane Okay, time to go. Just a symptom you've forgotten. You slip me in your pocket. Turn up the television now. Set me. <laughs> they gave up. <laughs> this is like no good. <laughs> Um, 
Alrighty, we're inside. We just checked in. We're sitting in the lounge right now. Nads and I are on the same flight. So we got the 24 hour journey together, which is good. Cause then at least we've got someone else to keep us company. Exactly, we had a good cry good sesh. Stop. We're chilling here. We're about to go get some drinks, I think. Because we're supposed to stop drinking at 10.30. So we've not got a lot of time. So, so we're gonna drink our problems away. We've got like an hour till we board. So we've got a bit of time to just sit here. Okay, sorry, let's go, let's go. <laughs> One shot of vodka. <laughs> It's really good. I'm glad. You want to say hi for the vlog? You want to smile? <laughs> He's stuck. Oh. No. <laughs> He's not smiling. We made it on. Okay. We're on the flight waiting to leave now. We got some champagne. champagne. I don't know why the lighting is being all weird. I'm sorry, guys. I don't really know how to fix it. We leave in about 20 minutes. So we're vibing out here. Got some free champagne. 13 hours side by side. Oh my god. We're pretty used to that anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Alrighty, we made it to our layover. So we're in Zurich right now. We've got two hours till our next flight boards. So we're kind of just sitting here waiting. The first flight was okay. We like slept for a majority of the time, so it went by pretty quickly. I think this one is gonna feel a lot longer because although it's seven hours, it's still like, we don't really have as much to do because we've already slept like 10. Feeling really crusty, but I got a coffee, so hopefully that will give me a bit more energy. It feels good though. We've got Wi-Fi. it's warm, so we're chilling. I managed to get some food, which is good because I'm starving. Part two, the flight attendants we've got on this flight are such legends. The one guy that's like serving my aisle gave us like a little ginger shot. Keeps refilling our glasses and stuff. Icon, we're thriving right now, I'm so content. We made it. Okay, we're at the airport now. We went through immigration, got ourselves some SIM cards, all that jazz. I just didn't really want to focus on filming because I wanted to get through all the stuff that we needed to do. It feels very surreal. It definitely doesn't feel like we just landed in our new home. It's also super weird though, because like literally everything's closed because we just flew into a lockdown. Love to see it. We need to quarantine for two weeks. So we're going to try and see how we can get to our residence from here. Alrighty guys, I made it into my dorm. It looks a little bit sad right now, especially because I've got a bunch of boxes here of like stuff that I've ordered, but I can give you a quick little overview of what it looks like. Basically, as you walk in to the left, there's a sink right here. And to the right, we've got the toilet and the bathtub slash shower. And then over here, there's like a bit of a living area with a couch and stuff like that. And then I've got my closet space here. And then up here, we've got my desk and my bed. View this way, not amazing, but this way is not bad. It's only 4.30, but the sun is already setting because obviously it's winter and the sun is gonna start setting a lot earlier, especially when you're this high up in latitude. I'm exhausted, but I do need to unpack the basics. I've got all my Ikea stuff to go through, which I don't think I'm gonna film just because I like don't have the energy for it. I'm gonna unpack a little bit and then I'll probably end the vlog there because I'm planning on filming during quarantine and stuff, so yeah. Alrighty, it's 10 p.m. I basically unpacked everything. I also managed to cut myself in the middle of my head while doing that, so that's great. Now that can heal while I'm in quarantine. <laughs> I tried to do like as much as possible to distract myself from how tired I am. So I hung some photos on the wall and stuff like that and tried to make it feel at least a little bit more cozy, even though I don't have everything that I want for my room yet. But we're gonna make it look cute. It's gonna look great. I'm excited. I'm about to pass out. So I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I will definitely be filming more of me settling in and me decorating my room and all that stuff. But that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I love you guys all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Don't